Hey guys, what's going on? Come with you with a beauty haul, but I am going to throw some clothes in here because we don't have much to show you guys. But I decided to do this video. It is late. It is almost one o'clock in the morning. To see I have a full face on. That's because I went shopping a little late because everything opened till about 11 midnight. And I just spent about an hour and a half wrapping up my Christmas gifts, especially since my daughter's sleeping. So I wanted to do a lot of this stuff while she was in bed. Like, I can't ever leave it, you guys. One more week, a week and a half, and then it will be Christmas. I feel like it went so fast. But before I get to the beauty items, again, I'm just going to show you some really quick pieces of clothing, but it's really is a beauty haul, okay? I just don't want to keep them things here because then I want to wear them and I don't want to wear things until I show you guys. So two things I actually forgot to show you guys from my last haul were these two earrings that I pick up from Old Navy. Old Navy, um, jewelry, the jewel section, can't even talk right now. But their section, they have a nice section where you can find earrings, um, bracelet, and necklaces. So I love these. This was like six bucks and this was like eight dollars. Can't beat that. And I love these. This I got from Old Navy like two years ago, believe it or not. And it's still good. They don't turn. So that's what I like about Old Navy um, earrings. And I did get a nice, my daughter calls it the teddy bear coat. And this is a French Connection coat. And it's full, full vegan leather. So, and it's washable. It's really soft. I've been looking for one of these coats and I was so lucky. I believe I found this at... I think it was Marshall's and I got it for a good price. I think it was on sale for like $60. So you can't beat that because you know the coat was over like a hundred bucks. So I definitely love this. Perfect. It's warm, soft inside. My daughter calls it the um, fuzzy teddy bear coat and I got this in a size medium and it's French connection. Really, really good buy. Then Old Navy had like jeans for 10 bucks. So I did pick up just one pair of just plain jeans. Like, just plain, simple, nothing. They're $10. They're super skinny, and they're really thin. So, I get hot fast, as you can tell. I'm going to get ready for bed. I have a tank on because I'm hot right now. So, I did pick that up. And then I got a black shirt from Target. I've been purging all my old tanks, old shirts. So, I needed some new ones. I got a black one. I got a white one, got rid of all my white ones because, of course, they were old and dingy. Then I stopped at J. Crew Factory, and they have a big sale going on. I literally picked up just three items and, of course, some more white shirts because you can't go wrong. And these were like three bucks, guys, and they are so soft. So I got two of these shirts because, again, I haven't thrown away a lot of my old ones. And then I picked up this skirt that was so pretty perfect for the holiday just a nice skirt and this is j crew factory they had 50 percent off and you could tie the bow right up here and also from i think marshall's i think it was marshall's i picked up this shirt is it marshall's yes from one one love clothing los angeles and this was like real cheap ten dollars i picked this up from marshall's i'm gonna wear with my high-waisted pants and then i also picked up this carnigan which i don't have anything like this and i love this line this brand um the gable and gosh brand they also sell this at lord and taylor and this was on sale i got it for twelve dollars now in stores is like 60 bucks and then it was on sale for 20 and i got it for 12. And it's just this nice cardigan and I, I don't have anything like this and i don't have anything with these colors so i did pick this up but that is it for the clothing now let's get to the fun stuff yay so i have this in the h&m bag but it's pretty much a couple things i got from sephora and these are gifts so I picked up the Buxom Lip Duo. And these are little gifts for like my coworkers. Picked up another one. Picked up one of these. I love the Coudele creams. I buy one every year. So I got one for myself and one for a coworker. And here's the other one. 
And I also picked up this Fenty Lip Stunner. And this I also got for a coworker. So yeah, I love little things like this for coworkers. So these all came from, I think it was Sephora. I do have one more thing for Sephora, but I'm gonna save that for last. And I also trading my points for the Ultra Repair Bare Air Cream from First Aid Beauty. Also trading 100 points for this Basha Cactus Water Moisturizer. And the Skill 2 Facial Treatment Essence. So I'm trading some points for those. Oh, also from Sephora. I decided to get Huda Beauty, the Ruby Obsession Palette. I love Huda Beauty's palettes. I really do. So this is all different shades of red. And I also definitely had to get the Topaz one. Because, of course, you guys know I love i just love golds different shades of gold it's pretty much my everyday look like every day so that i picked up from beauty beauty and the rest of the stuff i got like i got some stuff for mac and i got a big box from ulta and i love real technique brushes so again every year i try to get a new brush set because i throw out my old ones and in for the new ones for the new year I love this e.l.f. powder brush. This is going way back, probably like 10 years. So I always, I just brought one to replenish the one that I'm going to get rid of. And then this is also a gift. This is the Beauty Blowout by Benefit. This is also a gift for a coworker. And I wanted to get this. This is a Morphe All Eye Six Piece brush set that came with this bag. I'm trying like some different brushes. I don't know. I hear good things about Morphe and they're pretty cheap and affordable. And then I also got a Real Technique beauty bag came because of my purchase of the brushes. Now, this is this year has been my first year for a lot of things. As you guys know, I brought my first um, Pat McGrath palette. I actually just brought my first Juvia Place palette. Um, this is the Warrior by Juvia. As you guys know, I would pick this up because why? can't beat this again different shades of browns and golds so this is definitely my first palette from Jupia place i've been hearing a lot of stuff about them and i also picked up two of their i guess shade the shade sticks multi-purpose shade sticks but i actually pick up two to contour and i might butcher these names but this one is called tanisha i don't know if you guys can see that and again it's a dark color and again i picked up these colors so i can contour with them and then the other one is Katsina. Katsina. And Katsina is even darker than Tanisha. They look the same, but they're they're pretty dark. So I like to contour with a cream and then I use a powder. So and they were buy one and get one half off. And the rest of the stuff came from MAG. I did get a Studio Finish NC45 Concealer. This is actually one of my favorite concealers. I've been using this for a decade. So this is just a rebuy. Then I picked up three eyeshadows because there was a special going on when I went to the Cosmetic Factory. And I got that I'm Into It Matte Shadow. It looks like that. I also got a... What is this one called? Woodwink but Lex Pearl. I have Woodwink and this is a backup because I want to say the other one I have is almost done. Then I got a Carbon which is just a matte black and I have Carbon as well but that is almost done. And I got two MAC brush cleansers because the ones that I have is finished. And I picked up a MAC Diva lipstick in this limited edition packaging, which I believe I have this lipstick, but again, there was a special going on and it wasn't much option. So of course, I love these type of colors, burgundies, reds, purples, it's right up my alley. So I decided to go with Diva, can't beat that. And I also picked up another burgundy red, but this one is a retro matte liquid lip color by matte. And this one, I think it's in carnivores. And again, similar type of color, that burgundy brownish. I just love those kind of colors. It looks like that. Just love it. It's pretty much my everyday color. And I wear them through summer, winter, spring, fall. I, I just love it. And I did get, I think the two brush cleansers came from Bloomingdale's 
So, and something else I got. And then I got like a good bag of different perfumes. And I also got this because I purchased the two brush cleansers and the concealer from Bloomingdale's. So there was a special going on for MAC where you get this eyelash and some kind of setting spray to all that and then some kind of lipstick sample. So, um, so you guys, I picked up this Daisy Dream Mark Jacobs Sunshine Perfume and this is in the limited edition packaging. I actually got this as a gift for someone, but I think I'm gonna end up keeping it and get them something else because this smells so good. I went to Sephora because I had a special on buying my first fragrance and get to use 20% and I try this and I, I have a couple Marc Jacob. I like Marc Jacob perfume, but this one, you guys have to smell it. It is, oh my God, it smells, it smells really good. It's a hundred dollars, but it's the bomb. It smells great. You guys have to try it. Now, of course I save just double checking because you know I talk fast. Um, I saved the best thing for last. Again, 2019, I ended with a bang. My first Pat McGrath palette, which is $125. My first Juvia Place palette slash, you know, sticks. Um, Juvia Place is more, much more affordable. And I decided to finally get my first Natasha Denono palette. I've been watching reviews on this palette. I swatched this palette because, of course, it has the colors that I always gravitate to. So it was only right that I went to go get this palette. Now, this is, again, my first Natasha Denona, and this is the Metropolis palette. And again, once you see this palette, it's very, very pretty. Now, I have the same pet pee as Pat McGrath. For the amount of money you spend on these palettes, why the hell is the names not on the cover or something? It's like you have to keep the plastic flim thing because that's where the name of the eyeshadows are. So this is the Natasha Denona palette. And just like I said, you see, you have to keep this because again, here are the names to your shadow. And just look at this palette. You guys already know why. Look at this. Let's just have a moment. This is so beautiful i've been watching this palette since it came out but i did not want to spend 129 dollars on it but it's just gorgeous i went i play around with it i would walk out then i'll come back i would look at it again see when i do then when i usually do that then i know i have convinced myself that yeah girl you're gonna spend this money plus i had the 25 dollars for the rouge so then i was able to get 25 dollars off of it but this is a really gorgeous palette and i know people were saying that the golds are so similar i have to tell you i try them again multiple times they are very similar but they have different undertones and if you love golds browns you gravitate to these type of colors then you'll be fine just like i do i mean i pretty much wear different gold shadow every day with some type of different um crease color and they never look the same because it's different shades of gold so i love this palette just beautiful so beautiful so excited to finally get my hands on it so and this is pretty much how i'm gonna end sephora i mean it's enough sephora y'all need to stop and i think there's a 20 percent off that's gonna start on a 17 Whew. but with that one i'm gonna just kind of get the stuff that i need to buy to get me through the beginning of next year like more of my foundation and skincare things that i need back up of that's what i'll probably use that for but on that note, that is it, guys. Again, this is a beauty haul. I just threw a few clothing pieces. You know, I had to sneak that to you. I had to sneak that in the video real quick. But this is it. Let me just double check in because I have a habit of having stuff over there and over there and then forget to show you guys. And then I want to wear it, but then I will not put it on until I show you guys. But anyway, thank you for watching my video. And I probably won't see you guys again until after Christmas. Maybe I'll do a what I got for Christmas video. Who knows? Anyway, bye guys. Thanks for watching.